Pope Francis sent a message to Mexico after the 7.5 magnitude earthquake in Oaxaca. Ayer, un violento terremoto azotó el sur de México, causando algunas víctimas, heridos y enormes daños. Rezamos por todos ellos. Hermanos y hermanas, les estoy muy cercano. Pope Francis continued his catechesis on prayer. He recalled the example of King David. The important character from the Old Testament is a reflection of the incoherence in each person's life. However, he also shows the path of salvation. David es santo, prega. David es pecador, prega. David es perseguitado, prega. David es persecutor, prega. David es víctima, prega. Anche Davide Carnefice prega. Questo è il filo rosso della sua vita. Un uomo di preghiera. According to Pope Francis, prayer ennobled King David's heart and helped him repent and always return to the right path. In mezzo alle mille travessie della vita, buone o cattive, ma sempre la preghiera. Grazie, Signore, ho paura, Signore, aiutami, Signore, perdonami, Signore. Before concluding his general audience, the Pope said goodbye, as he will be taking vacation in July. Pope Francis won't leave Rome during these hot weeks, but he won't hold any public meetings other than the Angelus on Sundays. Despite the coronavirus in Italy, every journalist at Rome Reports continues working each day to bring the latest news straight to your home. There are many unable to leave their house and we give them the opportunity to experience Rome Reports Premium. Go to romereports.tv to get one free month of our documentaries, news stories and current information. Download Rome Reports Premium for free now on your phone or TV and enjoy all the exclusive content today. Share this information with those you love most so news from Rome can reach every living room all around the world.